everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I've been MIA for the last two weeks because I'm lazy. <laughs> well, actually, I've been busy, but it's nothing I really thought I wanted to put on YouTube video. But now I've come to the point where I will. So this is my Coptic stitch book that I made in 20... I think in 2021... Yeah, the first thing I did in here was from 2021. Um, and it's made out of Strathmore Tantone paper. And I think I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have 12 signatures stitched in here. And each signature has. way too much paper. One, two, three. Four. Is that five? One, two, two, three, four. Yeah, okay, so each signature has four pieces of paper folded in half, right? So I have 12 of those in there. So it's going to take me till I'm at least 110 to finish it. <laughs> so I want to show you what I've been up to. I like black and white because I'm a doodler. And yes, I know people doodle with colors, but my preference is black and white. So I've been going through Pinterest, and I've been finding patterns in my Pinterest in my doodle, what do you call it, doodle folder, on Pinterest of things that I like. So I've been doing them on, you know, this, and I have many that I really, really like. So in the last couple weeks, this is what I've been up to, is doing these. And where I know what the artist's name is, and I can trace it back to the original person, I made myself a, um, a label here so I could remember. So if I'm looking for an artist, like more of that artist's work, I know where to Google or go to Flickr or wherever they have the most amount of their stuff. Where's this one? I didn't like this paste, so I covered it up with a um, jelly print, which I probably will doodle over. This kind of stuff like this that looks like this is from This Is Doodling, and she is on Instagram. I love her stuff. Your basic stuff is always like this. Some of it has color, but most of it's black and white. And she lives in, I think, the UK, but I'm not sure. I know she doesn't live in the States, let's put it that way. Here's another one I'm working on. I haven't caught very far on it. I love this kind of stuff right here. This is, this is the stuff I love the most. The very busy patterns. This was for Valentine's Day, and I posted these on Instagram and in my Facebook page. That was for Valentine's Day. And all of these have been inspirations from um, Pinterest. This is not. <laughs> this is a work in progress. This might have a little more put on it later. Right now, I'm really enamored with, her name is Elena Nunez. Nunez. I really like her stuff. This is Willow Wonders. This still has to have stuff done on it, but I laid down the watercolor so it's ready to go. Laid down watercolor for this project. Okay, so the whole point of me telling you all of this was because I had a bright idea and I bought a new Epson color tank printer. So I took the book and mashed it down on the printer and printed scanned and then printed off the things that I like the most that I think I can get the most use out of for different things. This does not have the white on it. I put the white on the heart that's in the book after I printed this. So this is just strictly the hearts, the white. It's kind of skinny, but I did try to cut all the white off of them. There's this one. I think this one has a twin. Let me look. What is this one? Yes, this one's a twin. I'll show you the difference in the twins in a minute. I only did one copy of this. These are all the ones that were very busy on the paper that I really like the way they look. 
So that's those. All right, so let's look at the twins. Now this was done with Tantone paper. Okay, so I have, I did two, I did this. This one is color, which was done on white paper, and then it made it brown like the Tantone paper, except for it looks like kind of a, I don't know, like a beigey pink color background. Not what I was expecting. This one was done in black and white. And still, and I folded up into an envelope, but still, it looks different than this one. You can see this one looks more black and white, but the background on this one looks gray. And the background on this one looks kind of a pinkish beige. From the same printer, this is color. This is supposed to be black and white. I'm not thrilled. <laughs> so, I thought what I would do is, um, I took this this a few minutes ago and I glued this with the um, art glitter glue and made myself a pocket and um, put made it as an envelope. But I thought about sewing over it, but then I would end up sewing, and if I couldn't make it straight, I would mess up, you know, the nice um, border that went on through all of this. I, so I didn't want to mess that up. So I fold it into an envelope. I thought these would be great for um, envelopes and things like that when I do the, the my black and white book that I have. I have a couple black and white books in progress, but um, journals. And so I thought these would make great envelopes, put stuff in the journal and extra flip-ins, flip-outs, whatever. So I got upset that my colors didn't turn out well. So the other day I did some jelly printing I did this, and then I doodled on it. It kind of almost looks Christmassy because of the these little ones right here with the spikes on them. So this is the original jelly print. This is the photocopy. As you can see, the photocopy, let's put that, this is the way it goes. The photocopy that I scanned, the colors look a little washed out on here. Although it's hard to see it on camera, but when you see it in person, it's a little washed out. This was a glossy paint that I did for the jelly print. Um, and this is a Uniball Signo pen. I ran out, so I have some coming next week. So this one is what I did the, the white in. On here, it does not look as, um, you can't tell that the, the paint that I did the jelly print on was um, a little bit shiny, so it looks very flat. But I'm not thrilled with the color variation. You can see it now. I'm not really happy that it washes out my color. And I did color up, I did color up, I did turn up the portion on the printer that says like really heavy color and this is all I got. All right, because I mashed it down on the, because this isn't a book that has a seam down the middle, when I put it on the printer, I pushed the lid down and I put my hand on top of the lid so that it would get better contact. But what it did was, let's see if I can find a good example of it here. It's hard to see. Some of these you can see it's more obvious on, well, this one, maybe this one will do it. All right, so this is the scanned printed out copy. I don't know, can you see these little white lines here? There's a white line. A white line, a white line, a white line. And it's all through all of these prints because I mashed down on the printer because I was afraid it wouldn't have good contact. So I was so upset. I can't, I, listen, it took me a couple of weeks to draw this stuff. I am not going to replicate this on an eight and a half by 11. Although I say that, but I may end up doing it. I don't think so, but you know, there's always a possibility I would change my mind. So, I did change my mind about one of them. Let me show you the one I changed my mind about. Where is it? Of course, it's never where you want it to be. I did replicate one of these on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. I'm happy I did it. Where is it? I don't see it. Okay, wonder why. Um, I don't know where the copy is. Oh wait, I, I know it's in here. It should be. Did I not run a copy out? I know I did. Come on. Where is it? Okay. 
this one. Of course, it was the last one. It's all the way it was. All right, so I liked this one so much on the Tantown that I decided to recreate it. So, as I said, I did jelly prints the other day, and I have roll, you know how you have roll off paper. So, I did the same type of print on the roll off paper, and I really like the colors the red, the green, uh, the red, the blue, the green. I really like the way this looks. So, I scanned it. And this is the scanned version. Let me show you the difference in the color variations. Green, green. Blue and blue, red and red. Can you see the difference? But the thing I like is that because I scanned it, I can use this over and over and over and It'll probably use, be used in journals, or it will be used to make a book, a book cover. Although I think I'd like it better this way. Um, so I can use this over and over. I do like the scanner, but I think that it does not do a good job with the color. If I did this on black and white, I'm sure it would be perfect. If I did it not on the tan tone paper, I just did it on white. Or if I had done this one on white or some kind of a vellum, and then I could run jelly print through it, and then it would print the black and white on top of the jelly print, which I think would give me better color clarity than what I've got. I really like having the vibrant color with the black and white. The black and white is the feature, but the color is the accent, the little extra oomph that it needs. So I was a little disappointed. Anyway, so for the last two weeks, that is what I have been working on is this kind of stuff and then scanning it through the scanner and then trying to decide how to use these little artworks that I did. These take this one, the ones that are like this, they take a little while to do. Um, I would like an eight and a half, eleven done like this, but oh mercy. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think this would take bloody forever to recreate. And I'm not sure I want to devote that much time to recreating. And, and it'll never look the same as this one, and they never do. So I'm not really sure what to do about it, because this one... Where is it? I just had it in my hand. What? Where is it? <laughs> there we go. Because this was the original, this was my inspiration for this one. And they never do look the same. I mean, you can't, you can try, but it, the essence is there, but it is not the same. And I'm not sure I really want to do this now on a piece of vellum to run off on jelly print. I might consider not doing these like that. I'm not really sure. But I think that these take a lot of time. And if I'm going to do, if I'm going to make an investment with my time, what I really need to do is do it on a piece of white paper with no background, and then I can run them off onto my jelly prints, which I thought I would be able to do with these, but because I did it on the Tantone paper, um, I, that's not gonna be possible. So, just food for thought for those of you who like to scan your artwork and then use it over and over. I mean, I put these in a file and I can use these over and over the way they are, like making envelopes or small pieces or collage or whatever for your journals, but for something that you want color with, this is not gonna happen. And I didn't give that a whole lot of thought. When I did these, I wasn't planning on doing it, although this one I like a lot. I like this color one right here. Um, so when you guys do your artwork in your journals and then you like it so much and you photocopy it, just remember to turn up the color on your copy, on your copier so that you get as vibrant as a color that you want. Like this turned out pink, but these were done in red ink. And I don't, I'm, 
I mean, pink is fine, but I was thinking that I was going to get red hearts and I got pink hearts instead. I was a little disappointed that I didn't get the pink hearts that I was looking for. Where's the pink? There it was red. All right, this was done with a red, it's a black and white pen, it's a black pen. You see, it's pink. That's not what I was looking for. This is done with a red ballpoint pen. This is a red ballpoint pen. But the copier washed it out to pink, which I got a two for one, you know. But I think it would have been better if I had left no color in these and then I could run them off on whatever paper I wanted and color them in later. So if you're thinking about putting stuff in your Etsy store, do it on vellum that is see-through or some kind of see-through things like a piece of acetate, whatever. And then you can run it off on colored paper or you can run it off on white paper and then color in by hand on everything else. Okay, so that's it for today. I know it was a quickie and I didn't teach you much of anything, but I thought I would show you stuff. Um, I have been doing some other journals. This is a journal that I, I made for um, hashtag AJOS for um, Art Joy Sharing on Facebook. So I've made some entries since I made the book. I still need to finish this one, but I've been working in the book and coming up with different things in the book. The next section will be collages and things like that because this does not hold water. This is either mixed media paper or watercolor paper, I can't remember. Um, and this is just computer paper and that's not gonna hold water very well or markers, that kind of stuff. So I will draw or I will glue stuff on here so that it doesn't bleed through to the other side. So I have a lot to work on this year, a lot. And this I think is a three inch spine. Measure it real quick so I don't tell you the wrong size. Is it three inches? Ta-da, it's a three inch spine. So this is a big one. And I think it will be nice and fat and wonderful when I get done with it at the end of this year. Now, I haven't worked it in it very much because I've spent all my time doing stuff like this, you know, and then I've been working in this one because I'd like to finish this one off. I have four or five more signatures in this one to go and then it'll be done. And I'm not gonna make one this big again. This is just too big for me. I'd like to finish something. This has taken two years and I don't want to take two years to finish a journal. I would like to finish it in a year and be done with it. This one was the first one I drew from this Alina Nunez. And I liked it so much that I decided that I needed to do it on white paper because I think it looks much nicer on the white paper. Well, I like this, but I think it looks much more wonderful on the color paper. So I did this one yesterday. I really like it. It's such a great idea and it's beautiful. Okay, that's it for me for this week. Um, I still need to film my Christmas book flip, which is I finished the Christmas book, um, but I haven't done a flip, so maybe that'll be next week's video. All right, everybody, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.